Lady Gaga has posted a picture of herself on a new micro blogging site called Tumblr. Oh, sorry. Tumblr. <laughs> it's a shitty picture. The picture is of her in the toilet, and that is the number one reason to stay away from Tumblr. <laughs> More on Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga will be the guest judge on the show. So you think you can dance? She should actually be the judge for a show named So You Think You're a Man? Or a Woman? Or a Gaga? <laughs> Justin Bieber is shooting for a new Chrome commercial, and I always knew Chrome was kind of gay browser. <laughs> According to some reports, Justin Bieber has a diva like ego, you know? People with small cocks have that syndrome. <laughs> Unlike Lady Gaga. No, she is not egoistical at all. <laughs> the Fox News Twitter feed was hacked and used to publish false items that President Barack Obama had been killed. What a joke. Knowing Fox News, I'm sure there was no hacking in there. <laughs> Pakistan has claimed that it has 14,000 reserve militants to fight India in case of a war. 14,000 also happens to be the population of Taliban in Afghanistan. <laughs> Could there be a connection? <laughs> Harry Potter was an alcoholic. Seriously. In an interview to GQ magazine, he said that he was too attached to alcohol. I'm disappointed. He's a wizard, you know? He could have uh, done drugs, could have had sex, do some other cool stuff, but he chose to be an alcoholic. What a boring man. <laughs> Gaddafi has threatened world peace, says. He will have secret strikes in Europe and US. Gaddafi, just shut the f up. You can't even light a fucking firecracker on your birthday. Forget doing anything in Europe or America. <laughs> a French woman is suing Strauss Khan for attempted rape. Now, this lady is clearly trying to malign the great Strauss Khan with a charge like attempt to rape. I mean, come on, he is a complete, thorough professional. He finishes what he starts. <laughs> Tom Cruise celebrated his 49th birthday on Sunday with a surprise party thrown by wife Katie Holmes. Looks like Katie Holmes has a lot of time on hand. And the bigger question is, do Scientologists celebrate their birthdays? <laughs> Paris Hilton's stalker was arrested outside her home in Malibu. This guy should be shot. Stalking Paris Hilton? You could stalk a flamingo or a tortoise. What? That would be more interesting. Who stalks Paris? Hilton anymore. <laughs> Paris Hilton has also installed a brand new state-of-the-art security system in the house, which includes multiple cameras and motion detectors throughout the property. Okay. We get it. A new sex tape is on its way. Some people just don't like you to forget their bony ass. Victoria Beckham doesn't like to flaunt being pregnant. That reminds me of this true story. When Victoria got to know she's pregnant, she called up David Bex from an unknown destination and yelled with joy, Hey, I'm pregnant! <laughs> to which Bex replied, Oh, congratulations! Uh, uh, who is this? <laughs> Guess who is back in the news? Nicolas Cage. <laughs> wow, it feels like 1995. <laughs> Anyway, his son and wife um, have some legal trouble, some domestic violence shit. Apparently, both of them were in rehab. Nicolas Cage's son was in a rehab. <laughs> now, why am I not surprised? Dad had trouble leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> son is at least trying rehab. <laughs> Obesity rates in 16 new states climbed over the past year. And not a single state reported a decline in the proportion of excessively overweight people in related news. A team of caterers in California have cooked what is believed to be the world's largest hamburger, a whopping 777 pounder. Is that Boeing's replacement for the shuttle program? I think Americans have done the right thing by closing down NASA's shuttle program. They are going to be so fat in 50 years that they won't need to go to space. Space will be inside them. <laughs> no shit. This is bound to happen because the American waistline is expanding faster than the universe. Take the <laughs> oh no! Alright, we will be back with penis sizes news of the world, Russian space program and 
Casey, Anthony, till then, you guys take a small break.